Chao. Hi, I'm Dalo, and today we're going to be changing the oil in the reduction gear on this Nissan Leaf. Let's get started! So the second step is to go underneath the car and remove the first splash sheet. This is the one that goes underneath the engine compartment. This one is held on with a few 10 mm bolts all around the perimeter, but also some plastic clips in certain spots. So let's get to that. So here are all the bolts and clips removed, and these plastic clips are very easy to break accidentally. So it might be good to order some spares before starting this job. So here we are underneath on the right side. Here we can see the drain plug, and a bit higher up here is the fill plug. So the bolts are 10 mm insects, and uh, it uh, is always a good idea to start with the fill bolt instead of the drain bolt. Because if you start by removing the drain bolt and can't get the fill bolt open, you are in big trouble. So yeah, best to start with this one. Yes, it opened nicely. So now the fill bolt. Nicely. Perfect, now we can get a drain pan. And as always, remember to use jack stands and not only rely on the jack. Woo. Yuck. As you can see here, one of the washers actually got stuck on the gear case, so look out for these. So something worth mentioning is to always replace the crush washers when doing this job. Uh, the standard aluminium ones are not reusable, so here I am throwing in some fresh copper ones. The ones that I'm using here for my set are the biggest one, so the size is uh, 18 times 22 times 1.5 millimeters. Nice. We They have her since been no hard. So to fill this reduction gear case, we will use a bit of funnel and a bit of... <laughs> a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> so now that the vehicle is level, we can start to fill the reduction gear case with oil. For this, I'm using a funnel and a bit of hose. And we simply 
snake it into the engine compartment all the way down to the gearbox. So something like this. So here on the underside I have guided the hose into the fill port. Now we can start to fill. Okay, so while I'm filling the gear case with oil, I can give you some technical details why to even bother with this service item. It is often overlooked on the leaf, but in the service manual it says that you should inspect the fluid every 24,000 kilometers and replace if necessary. The real reason, however, that most want to replace this fluid is that the one that comes with the leaf is not particularly viscous in colder temperatures and there is a small efficiency gain to be had by switching to a higher quality fluid. The reduction gear will have less resistance to overcome in cold starts. This is a tiny, tiny improvement, but especially on range limited leaves, most people will take any improvement they can. Here I am using Redline's D6 ATF, but really any respectable ATF brand will do that has the Matic S certification. The reduction gear case holds 1.41 liters of ATF, and I'll put the technical specifications on screen so you can also see what this is in freedom units. Oh, and for anyone wondering what the torque specs are for the drain fill plug, here it is, 34.5 newton meters. So when you're done filling, oil will start to leak out of the fill port. This way you know that it's completely filled. Okay, so a few days have now passed since the oil change in the reduction gear and it's a good idea to check for any leaks now. Uh, so simply open the hood and inspect if any fluid looks like it's leaking from the plugs. It's quite easy to check that. Just shine a flashlight down there. But I hope you enjoyed this video and as always huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. This channel wouldn't exist without you. See you in the next one. Bye!